All right, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, I'm gonna be sharing all of my favorite detailing products. I get asked a lot of questions about them. Well, here it is. Right, so let's get started with cleaning those wheels and tires up. My two favorite products to do that. First off, PNS Brake Buster. This stuff is more of a light duty. It's great for those maintenance washes, very economical, and um, you don't have to worry about it eating into those rim faces or tearing your coatings off. Perfect for that. When you have the super dirty wheels, you're gonna move, wanna move up to something like Adam's Wheel and Tire Cleaner. This is a much higher pH. It's still safe on rim faces, but it does have some teeth. It is gonna cut in there, requiring a little less agitation then we'll move over we're gonna put this stuff on with the foam cannons my favorite way to apply it keep in mind it does dilute it it's running through the pressure washer water's mixing with it so a little bit of product goes a long way and you get that killer foam for those of you that don't want to do it that way pump sprayers they work great perfect for putting it on a little bit more elbow grease and I recommend after you use a pump sprayer just go ahead and pump some plain water through it so you don't have that high pH chemical eating at your foam heads after we get the foam applied we'll go ahead and hit it with our favorite brushes from top to bottom get it all cleaned up then we'll use the dryer normally I wait till the end of the wash process before I dry the tires and wheels but since I'm showing you this whole routine I'll go ahead and dry it with my favorite dryer and then we'll come over let's talk about tire dressing I've used a lot of them I have probably 20 different ones up there these are my two standout favorites carpo pearl it can be diluted it's economical too it also is easy to apply last a few weeks easily to your next wash then you move over to like black the semi-permanent this stuff's awesome it'll last a few months for sure and all it'll only require minor touch-ups let's see it in action Before we start the wash process, it's always a good idea to inspect the vehicle, looking at those stubborn areas to see if we need a little bit more product on there to help break things down so that we're not over scrubbing during the contact wash. One of my favorite products is Bug Off by PNS. This stuff goes on easy. It just makes those bugs just melt right off of there. That's great. Just keep in mind when you're using Bug Off that this is a high pH product and it does need it to be diluted down. I'll actually leave a link up here that'll give you some more information on how to dilute products and get it right so that you got it going for you because if they're too strong they will eat those spray sealants and those waxes off of your paint 
And to avoid that, we'll just do the dilution proper. So this works great with the bugs. Then we move over. If we got tar and sap on the side of the car, we'll hit it with a tar and sap remover. And now the other thing. Let's say we got some road grime that just looks like it's going to need a lot of scrubbing. We'll come over. We'll use an all-purpose cleaner. These are my two favorites, DIY Details and Koch Chemi. I don't care how you say it. That's how I say it. <laughs> but we'll put mix that up into our spray bottles. Again, with proper dilutions. Go ahead and check that link out so you understand what you're doing. We'll spray it on the area and we'll let that set for just a minute. Don't let it dry and um, we'll go from there. So if your car is really dirty, those pH neutral soaps just aren't going to get the job done. They provide a lot of lubricity and a lot of foam, a lot of suds, but at the end of the day, they don't have that higher pH to put any teeth on it to actually get that dirt to come off. So what I like to do, I like to stay within the brand. Uh, my favorite two all-purpose cleaners to mix in with the snow foam would be Koch Chemi Green Star mixed with Gentle Snow Foam, or I like the DIY Details all-purpose cleaner mixed in with the Incredible Suds. We'll mix it up, put it in the foam cannon, spray it on, and we'll let that dwell as long as possible. This is where we get into that thicker foam clings on the paint long allows that product to do its job longer don't let this stuff dry on the paint this is just a pre-wash just to get that extra stuff that's clinging on to the paint the dirt the contamination get what we can off prior to the contact wash let's get it going Now it's time for the contact wash. We want to use a good pH neutral soap for this. It's going to be sitting out there in a, a long time as we're washing the car and we want to minimize that chance of spotting. I always recommend in a shady area on a cool evening, cool morning. But with that being said, we got Adam's Mega Foam. This has won every foam competition against everything I've put it up against. Check down in the description or in my playlist, you'll see the Adam's Mega Foam just killing it in the Foam Cannon Challenge. My next favorite is Incredible Suds. This stuff smells like grape Kool-Aid. It has real comparable foam to Adam's Mega Foam. So it's a matter, cherry or grape, up to you. Both work great through my favorite Foam Cannon. We're gonna blast some great foam on here and uh, that's gonna get us prepped. We'll put a couple ounces into the bucket you can do anywhere from an ounce to two ounces depending on how much you want in there and today we're going to be using the five six seven mitt method whatever floats your boat but the idea is we'll use a mitt as soon as it starts picking up any type of contamination we'll throw it in the bucket and uh, grab a new one and keep moving on that way we end the process with nothing no contamination in the bucket that's pretty cool all right let's get started
So now that the wash process is complete and we're rinsing the vehicle, this is a perfect time to inspect the paint. A commonly asked question on the channel is, Jeremy, how do we know when it's time to reapply sealant, a heavy duty long-term sealant? Well, when you're rinsing the vehicle, you're gonna see the water beading, sheeting, and just falling off the paint, indicating that the sealant is still working great. And just a topper or drying aid is gonna do the job. But in some cases, like on my Model 3, you're gonna see that from driving down these unimproved roads, rocks kicking up, just gnarly road contamination. It's kind of worked its way through the sealant and even into the ceramic coating in this case, and it needs a new touch up on the sealant. So you'll see that the water when it's being sprayed on there, it's just not beading, it's not sheeting. It's time to go ahead and hit it with a sealant. A good, for, good one for this is the Kochkemi SO02. I'll tell you what, this has beat every other product on the hood. And again, that's another playlist to check out if you're interested in torture testing products like this. This one is really strong, it lasts a long time. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some on here after this video is done to get that touch back up. It's time to dry the paint, and I'll tell you what, hands down, my favorite way of drying a vehicle is with the Ego Leaf Blower with the stubby nozzle. This thing works insane, I'll tell you what. But it does require a hydrophobic coating on your paint. It allows it to bead and sheet off, so when you're blowing it, it just blows the water right off the paint. If you don't have that, this is not gonna be a good option because it's gonna stick, and it's kind of gonna be a little bit of a nightmare. But with that being said, even after we use the leaf blower, we're still gonna have some small dribblies, some areas that we're gonna have to catch with uh, some touch up and my favorite product to do that is drying aid this stuff works amazing it's colorless odorless it leaves some medium durability protection on there and I'll tell you what it's super slick to the touch after it's on and I'll be using my medium sized gauntlet towel that's gonna get me all the way around the vehicle with no issues whatsoever because you kind of need to be able to spray it on buff it and then flip the towel and buff it to a nice shine and um, a little extra towel is gonna help do that my old-time favorite product Maker. This stuff has been long standing, doing great results for a long time. Some people claim that it does attract dust. Jamie the Cleaner had a cool idea mix a few ounces of Dream Maker into the Bead Maker mix, and it does reduce the amount of dust that's attracted to it, makes it a little easier to work with. And I'll tell you what, I agree with that. That's a great idea. And also, I like to use my orange Bead Maker towel. I like to be color coordinated, as you can tell, so I'm not mixing towels up from process to process. Now, is a leaf blower necessary? No, it's not. Just use the larger drying towel. This is the gauntlet big towel and it's double sided. It's two pieces of fabric sewn together. I'll tell you what, this will get you all the way around a large SUV without wringing it, without being full of water, anything like that. That's a great towel. Let's get this thing dried up. So you got the car all washed up, we got it dried, and you just keep thinking, man, every time I wash it, it's the same crap. I get bugs stuck to the front, then it's a pain to get them off, or any area that's just 
constant nightmare to get things off of, consider playing sealant to it, a stronger sealant, something that's gonna be super slick and have some durability and it's gonna help you out. In this case, I'm gonna be protecting against some bugs because here in Hawaii, we get these bugs stuck all over it. I know you people down in Florida get those bugs too. That's those big ones, those nasty ones. But so we'll go ahead and hit the front of the car with a good hardcore spray sealant. It's gonna make cleaning it up really easy next time. Watch this. The key to cleaning glass is to have a good glass cleaner and a good towel. I like using invisible glass. This stuff's economical. You can get it almost anywhere. It's tint safe. It works really good, really easy. That makes it great. Uh, I also like to use a good waffle weave towel, a large one. That way we have plenty of surface area on the towel. One side for cleaning, spreading that product around, agitating the stuff off the surface, and plenty of dry sides. That's what you need, a dry, clean piece of towel to buff those streaks off. Let's go ahead and get this glass all cleaned up. So it's been a long day. We put a lot of work in. Now it's time to jump in and get that interior cleaned up. And some of my favorite products to do that are right here. PNS Express Interior Cleaner. This stuff smells good. It's economical. It can be diluted. So a little bit just goes a really long way. We put it into our favorite spray bottle. We put it all over the interior. It's really easy to wipe on, really easy to wipe off. And again, head to that dilution page so you can see well, what a proper dilution is. You can dilute this anywhere down to 50-50 and even beyond. Running it 100% would be something really dirty, like an old farm truck seat or something like that. So uh, there's multiple ways to apply it. I like using the brushes. You can really control where you're putting the product. You can also uh, you know, have a good time using this equipment. It's good in the hand, works great. Uh, a lot of people will just use microfiber towels. That's great too. Spray it on the towel, wipe it on. You can get the job done that way also. Now, another common Common question on the channel how do we apply UV protection so there's multiple products for that another favorite DIY details interior clean and protect this stuff will not only uh, clean the interior but it leaves behind a small UV protection keeping that Sun off your dashboard off your door cards and stuff that you don't want to get faded I myself am a fan of having UV tints in a vehicle but uh, for clients that don't have that sort of thing do a little bit of UV protection, that's kind of cool. If you want something a little bit more hardcore than that, you're gonna go with the 303 protectant. I've been using this stuff for a real long time, it works great. The one thing is when you spray it onto a kind of a matte finish, it could leave some streaking. So my advice, spray it on and level it out right away, making sure that you're not leaving anything behind. If you do come back and there's a streak, just wet the towel again, wipe it again, flip it and buff it right off, easy to manage, it works great. Let's go ahead and get that interior cleaned up.
So now I can't end this video without showing you the most versatile product in any garage. That's gonna be a solid rinseless wash. Now there's multiple products out there. They all work nice, but my favorite right now is Absolute from PNS. This stuff works great. It'll do almost every part of a detail with just one product. Let's check it out. So that's my entire wash process from start to finish. There's always other things you can do, but that's the general gist of it. These are all the products I've used. I've tested tons of them. Uh, you know, I have all kinds of products here. I bring in the test for the channel and these have made their way to the top as my favorites. So you're gonna get great results with these. I have links to everything down in the description and over on my website. And over on the website, there's gonna be commonly asked questions and more detail on all these products to try to help you out. But if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments also let me know in the comments what are you using for your wash process and any details on it would be awesome i appreciate it but right now these products oh man those things are awesome that's what i use you're gonna dig them i guarantee it and consider subscribing why not it's free and i'll see you in the next one yeah.